Good day guys. Welcome where maths is made easy with teacher Satya Iyer. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to find a missing angle of a triangle step by step. Make sure you watch the entire video to have a better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. Now before we find the missing angle of a triangle, let's understand some of its properties. Now a triangle is made up of three angles and the sum of all of these three angles will be equal to 180 degrees. Now what this means is angle A plus angle B plus angle C will equal to 180 degrees. Alright guys, now let's solve some question understanding from this property. Now, if you take a question one, we see that the first angle is 45 degrees, second is 70, and third angle is angle X. So first, let's write the equation down. So 45 degrees plus 70 plus angle X is equal to 180 degrees. Right, guys? Now, 45 plus 70 is going to give us 115 so 115 plus x is equal to 180 degrees right guys now in order to find the value of angle x what i'm going to do is i'm going to transpose 115 to the other side right guys so x will be equal to 180 minus 115 and therefore x is equal to 65 degrees now one more method what we can do instead of doing it in this method is what we can do is step number one we can just add up these two angles so what we'll have is 70 plus 45 is equal to 115 and what we can do is we can take 180 subtract with 115 which will give us 65 degrees right guys so you can use whichever method that you want now in question number two, what we see here, we have three angles and we have to find the value of x. So let's start off by writing the equation. So x plus x plus 110 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, right guys? Now x plus x will give us 2x plus 110 is equal to 180. Now I'm going to transpose 110 to the other side. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 110, 2x is equal to 70 degrees, right guys? Now we have to find the value of x, therefore I'm going to get rid of this 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So x is equal to 70 divided by 2 which is equal to 35 degrees, therefore these two angles will be equal to 35 degrees right guys now let us go to question number three now in question number three as you see here we have to find the value of y and the value of x right guys so there are two variables here now we can straight away find the value of y by using the triangle properties right so what we have here is y is one of the angles from the triangle and the remaining two are 62 and 51 so let's do this one. So y plus 62 plus 51 is equal to 180 degrees, right guys? Now let's add up these two. y plus 113 is equal to 180 degrees. y is equal to 180 minus 113 and the value of y is equal to 67 degrees right guys the value of y is equal to 67 degrees so let's write that down right here so y is equal to 67 degrees but the question is also telling us to find the value of x right guys and if you take a look at this this is a straight line therefore angle x plus y is equal to 180 degrees right guys now since we know the value of y let us substitute it x plus 67 is 180 x is equal to 180 minus 67 therefore the value of x is equal to 113 degrees so the value of this x will be equal to 
113 degrees. And that is how we would find the missing angle of a triangle, guys. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit on that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time, guys, have a nice day.